That's right, Chef. Soaring gas prices, one of the direct ways Americans are feeling the effect of Russia's invasion. Here in L.A. County, yet another record high. We're talking $5.09 a gallon. Just to put this into perspective, Chef, a year ago, the national average price of gas, $2.66. Today, $3.55 a gallon. That, according to AAA. That's an added cost for Americans at a time when inflation is soaring. Many telling us they're making contingency plans. Others saying they're going to cut back on travel. Every time there's a long drive, I'm like, oh, like I, I'm just not going to drive there. I have a truck, and it is horrific when I pull away and see how much I just spent for one tank of gas. I got to get an electric car. Something. This is ridiculous. Some people uh, I know that do like drive for like different delivery companies and stuff like that. They feel like they have they can't make as much money because they can't drive as much because the gas prices are higher. Today, President Biden reiterated his intentions to protect Americans from higher gas prices. And the United States will release additional barrels of oil as conditions warrant. I know this is hard and that Americans are already hurting. I will do everything in my power to limit the pain the American people are feeling at the gas pump. This is critical to me. Late last year, President Biden did tap the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, authorizing the release of 50 million barrels in an effort to curb prices. Experts say if Biden does release more oil into the market, it would put a lid on prices, Shep, but it would only be a short-term fix. Back to you. Seema Modi, live in Los Angeles. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.